Hi guys. Welcome to Smile Styles Philosophies. Now, if you have not been paying attention to my YouTube shows, you might have missed the part where I said that I was going to declare war on the spiritual world. Why? It sounds ludicrous to me too. It sounds dumb. Because first of all, I don't even believe in ghosts and demons. And I try to keep that to myself. That's not something I say in public. But what happens is I start talking to these people in public and then they start saying shit and contributing certain things that they've done to ghosts and demons and stuff like that. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> I was talking to one chick who was coming from Bourbon Street. She says, like, at her grandma house, the ghost used to cut the lights off for her. Like, shit like that. Um, another chick says that when she goes to sleep, demons like to ride her back. I don't understand the concept either. I don't know why demons felt like riding her back. Maybe she gave them a good piggyback ride. I'm not sure. But the, the logic behind the shit they tell me don't make sense. One chick says her grandparents, which are dead, come to her in dreams and tell her who her daughter should marry in the future. So it's like you come all the way back from the dead to tell your daughter who your daughters should marry like it's going to make a major difference in somebody's life or something I mean if you're going to come all the way back from the spirit world you might as well tell me how to get to heaven or hell you know questions like that why are you concerned with who gets married if everybody's going to die anyway anyway moving on the last jackass that I talked to says she used to be in a witchcraft at one point so she really believed this shit she also sniffed crack at one point, so I can understand the uh, connection between why she sees ghosts. You feel me? Anyway, she tells me that all the shit real, she used to be into it, and once she got into it, it was no turning back, and she had to leave the shit dead while she could. She survived whatever happened, and so she, she, she doesn't like the fact that I'm skeptical, so she recommends that I experiment with the Ouija board. And that's going to be the proof that ghosts and demons exist. She was telling me these bizarre stories about people that played with the Ouija board. And granted, she never witnessed none of them. She was just telling me stories that somebody else told her by somebody else who really done it. So we all know how good word of mouth is, right? Especially with dealing with the supernatural. Word of mouth is like the ultimate fact finder. I'm being sarcastic. I accept your challenge. This is an Ouija board. I don't understand why they called it an Ouija board and they have a big ass A at the end. It's, it looks it look like it's supposed to say Ouija. Anyway, maybe I'm tripping. So here's what I'm going to do. The details are going to be explained in later videos, but I'm going to challenge all the stories that she told me about the Ouija board. One, one such story was that I couldn't throw it away. I guarantee you I can throw this bitch in the trash. One story says I can't burn an Ouija board. I bet you I can burn this motherfucker up, and I will. I accept your challenge. Oh, she also says... That playing with the Ouija is going to open a portal to the spirit world and all the evil spirits are going to escape and they're going to haunt me or attack me or some way, shape, or form. I say bring it. I ain't got shit to lose. Life's boring anyway. Maybe I need some competition from some dead people. Anyway, keep in tune if you want to see the results of Smiles versus the fucking Ouija board.